and welcome to October and you. And I was just thinking back and there was a, I had the opportunity of speaking up in Canberra. And for those of you that are not aware in other countries, we had Australians that just arrived from all over Australia to Canberra which is our capital city and the people just descended and the people marched and I had the opportunity of speaking um, on two of the occasions uh, about what was going on and one person asked about when was everything going to happen I said you've got to keep your eye on the last four months of the year but especially September October November and they went I oh, would well, like that's 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 our springtime and I go yeah so spring here is when things come out things start to bloom we start to see things and the northern hemisphere it's called the fall and and I said and of course that's when all of the leaves fall so this woman this woman asked she said well what sort of things are going to happen and I said the fall the fall what do you think fall is fall is when things are going to fall and that's what I got and I got it very very strongly so I said it's starting in the September the October it's going to really start to move and then November just watch out just watch out but I'm telling you that once we come into the December energy we will all be very very aware of what has been going on and I said and people are going to be losing their whatever um, left right and center so therefore those that are aware you need to be really working on yourselves in the September to get ready for the changes that October and November are going to bring so I'm looking at get ready for change and expect a lot of flipping and what I mean by flipping is um, it's like moves moves and changes are going to be taking place in the month of October but it's undercover so we will be looking out there and we will be told certain things but then all of a sudden it's like things have just flipped around so it's it's really important that you are really grounded and centered as you journey this month of October there's going to be a lot of lot of rebirth a lot of rebirth so a lot of people that have been lost we're getting the change of the energy coming in which is going to wake them up you know like and I always say to people everything happens for a reason and there's a time and a place for everything now I'm also getting um, that there are going to be more people that are going to be removed from posts of authority and positions of authority and why is this why do I get this because we are in the month of karma now that karmic energy that we're in for the whole of the month of October is for this year so the month of October in 2022 comes in with the vibration of karma and when you work out the energy of the name Jesus Christ it also comes to the same energy vibration so the Jesus Christ energy is going to be really really strong on the planet for the whole of the October what he was all about what he stood for and as I'm looking at the cards I'm also looking at a very very strong energy around the month of October to do with children so um, I would be saying that something is going to come out to do with the children over this month of October we're looking at trying to keep things into balance and I think this has got a lot to do with the the moves and the changes taking place undercover this is they're working on it they're they're working on things but it's like God help us when it comes to the 23rd because things are going to go kapung and it's like and I'm telling you things are going to be exposed things are going to be out there so I'm looking toward this end the end of the October energy is being full on um, I'm looking at a lot of um, like 
again, things working behind, but from the 23rd in another aspect that I'm looking at astrologically, things are going to start moving forward around that energy as well. Um, a lot of analytical vibration around, um, and this is going to be a lot to do with thinking and I, and I feel that that's going to be strong up until the 11th. But after the 11th, it's like people are going to go, hold on a minute. It's like this doesn't make sense to me. So again, a lot of waking up of things. And when we get to the 30th, so those last two, two days of the month of October is going to be very, very powerful with decisions to be made and a lot of, um, a lot of moves that are going to be made. It's like, okay, right, it's like action. Things have got to start moving. To do with the relationship energy, to do with countries, I'm getting the formation of new partnerships that are taking place. But again, this is very much behind the scenes that this is taking place. So it's like, right, we're going to work together on this. You guys are going to work together on that and you guys are going to work together on that. So these are the leaders of different countries that are going to be coming together and working on all of this energy. And once the 22nd um, comes around, it's like they will then have things very much in place. And it's like, right, all of that is cemented now. So now we can move forward with that because that is now a really solid foundation that we can work, work that we can stand on, that we can then move forward with. Um, I'm also getting a lot of a lot of sudden movement that are that are going to be taking place. So it's important for us to be as centered and as grounded as possible. Um, there's like the battle energy is there underneath all of this right that's taking place so we're going to see like battles being played out um but i get it's like it's 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 the it's a part of the illusion to keep the masses going off in the direction that they need to go in that's going to stop them from absolutely going cray cray um now when we get more toward the end of the month around the 28th it's like i'm seeing it's really interesting it's like it's two factions here so i'm seeing one faction going in one direction and another faction going in another direction um what that's all about how that's going to play out i'm not sure because i didn't get a lot of clarity around that but like just but if you see that happening don't be concerned it's like it's cool um, the karmic energy also comes in with a lot of vibration um, around around planet Saturn. Um, and I'm getting a, a lot that's going to come up. A lot is going to be surfaced, come up to the surface again. Uh, but that's going to be around again the 23rd. Right here we are again with that 23rd, the 23rd of the month. Okay, now what else have we got here? Uh, where you have felt like an outcast, I get that that is going to change um as more people are going to wake up and they're starting to come around and being a part of our group yeah um i also got that god is actually actioning this incredible tidal wave to do with truth so this is where i see the changes coming in in with these you know with the people that are basically what we call have been asleep i call them that they've been walking around in a state of hypnosis another thing that's really important for the month of october with this karmic energy um around you is your thinking right oh my god your thinking and around all of your emotions so as soon as you start to feel anything negative that's coming up inside of you any negative thought any negative communication coming out of your mouth you've got to stop yourself you have to say thank you so much for sharing because this is old negative programming that is coming up for you so thank you very much for sharing cancel cancel and replace the thought or the feeling with a positive and also i'm just being told tamara also their action okay so okay we've got to bring that into it as well as soon as you start to feel yourself going to be doing a a negative action taking a negative action out there you've just you are to stop yourself okay um so get ready for change 
Um, it's like really, 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 really strong, really strong. And again, a lot more people are going to be removed from positions of authority over the month of October. A lot of rebirth is going to be taking place, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, we also have a look here at some emotional energy that's going to be going through. So there's a lot of idealism that is going to come to the surface from the afternoon of the 4th through until the 7th. And then on the 7th and the 8th, it's like we're getting a pulling at those different directions that I was talking to you about. One lot going in one direction, another lot going in another direction, and that's emotionally. So just watch that in regard to people around you. The 9th and 10th, hold back. Oh my God, hold back. Don't say nothing to nobody. You are just like, can't speak, no, no actions, nothing, because around the 9th and the 10th, there's a lot of explosive energy that's coming in. That explosive energy is going to come back in again on the 18th, the afternoon of the 18th, the 19th and the 20th. Then we're going to see again a lot of fire energy coming back in the afternoon of the 27th. Again, it's going to be there the whole of the 28th and the 29th. And then boy, oh boy, the 30th and the 31st. Here we are with this karmic energy also coming back in in the astrological side of everything. Now, we've got a lot of mental dilemma. So again, keeping yourself as grounded as grounded as possible. Isolation I'm getting during the month of October. Um, it's going to be quite strong. So even if we're not in lockdown, we're going to feel like being in lockdown. So just wanting to isolate yourself from whatever it is that's going on. There is going to be a lot of, um, a lot of destruction that's going to be coming in. Now, I feel um, that quite a bit of this will be, it's like it's around, it's around these big buildings, but things, things are coming down. I'm just getting that things are going to come down. Now, somebody did ask about the the elections and around like November and all of that, like for Australia, and we've got it here in Victoria, and then we also have um, for the pre election pre pre selections or something in America. Uh, apologies, Americans, if I'm not up with um, with all of that, uh, but it's like. You know, I did say, um, I don't know, it's like I can't really see it happening. However, it all depends on how much the masses start to move on that, that mental and emotional and spiritual plane. If they start to move in a, in a, in a more positive direction of waking up, then I feel that that will not happen. However, if they don't, then to keep the even keel of everyone, they're going to keep those optics going. Okay, so like we could still, you could still have that. We could still have that um, that old way of of uh, of ruling of government actually taking place. Now, very much at the end of cycles, people are going to be at the end of cycles. They're going to be walking away from things. They're going to be walking away from situations. Um, I'm getting Donald Trump here, and I'm getting that we're having to sit on the fence and bide our time. So we're going to be continuing doing what it is that we've basically have been doing. Um, now, it's also interesting because I'm getting a, uh, a feeling here about... Mm, this is really there. Yeah, this is this. I, I like this. I like this energy because this energy is about people in other countries knowing more about people in other countries. Okay, so it's like here we are in Australia, we're looking at the Ukraine. Here we are in Australia, we're looking at around, we're looking at what's going on there. So it's like we're all becoming like this this the family of humanity yeah like which is which is lovely so we're keeping an eye on our brothers and our sisters in other countries 
and and how they are faring what they are doing how they actually uh, require support so like I think I, I just love that 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 is just so cool yes there's going to be a battle they're saying to me um, because light switches are coming on and seeing things very very clearly and again the light is being shone in all of those corners where the dark have been oh okay they've just said to me the light is going to be shone in the corners where all of the dark are hiding so all of the people that are basically been a part of the cabal the illuminati it's like it's like the light's going to be shone and they can't hide anymore they can't hide anymore they're going to be exposed guys Oh my god this is this is just awesome this is just awesome so we're just having to um just we're just having to hang in limbo okay we're at the crossroads new new directions are going to be opening up but we just have to hang in limbo for a little bit longer because we've got a whole new cycle opening up in the world and we've got new directions that are going to be given to us as we release and let go of the burdens that, that we have been carrying those that have done the journey right big star big star because you've moved from the fear the fear energy and you've become your own magician so you have mastered you've mastered it right good on you guys good on you a lot of movement over the next eight weeks justice must prevail there will be victory but there's going to be a lot of um oh that's interesting um they just said to me a lot of infighting so oh oh okay right so they've just said to me that infighting has got to do with the cabal and the illuminati they're all going to oh they're all going to turn on each other okay they're all going to turn on each other oh my god they're going to turn on each other um and it's like and i and i'm seeing here a lot of death so it's like there's going to be battles there's going to be battles going on between them between them and they're going to destroy they're going to destroy themselves that is just that is awesome right so what we have to do we've got to stand our ground we've got to be very very clear we've got to know what it is that we want uh what it is that we don't want but i'm telling you now we're going to be smelling the sweet smell of success and we're going to have offers and proposals that are going to be coming our way so it's like well what is it that you want to do what is it that you want to do you know and it's like so we're going to be given like choices in regard to what roles we want to play in the world uh what work is it that you actually want to do so like uh that's just phenomenal so again recapping karma guys karma things are going to be destroyed even more so and i did see something and i don't know whether whether all of you have seen it or not but it's like big earth removing equipment outside parliament house in can in um in ottawa now it was really interesting that was a slip of the tongue i was about to say canberra so i wonder if that's going to be happening aussies Woof. anyway so um yeah big earth moving equipment and where did i hear this somebody by the name of norm anyway so norm whoever you are thank you and wherever i saw that thank you for whoever it was that had that posted um but it was this picture and this guy norm was told that they were building an olympic swimming an olympic swimming pool and he said it's something like a hundred feet deep right this 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 big excavation out the front of parliament house in ottawa and it went all the way along and it went around the corner well i mean like who can't you know, like a hello hello an olympic swimming pool i love it so things are really really moving over there in um in canada as far as all of that is concerned so um okay guys remember jesus christ jesus christ jesus christ jesus christ don't call him jesus and don't call him christ 
you've got to say both of the names together jesus christ okay and that's what you're working with that energy and as i said our month of november get ready for it i can't wait to do all of the predictions for that um, because it is going to be the number 17 the number of q and that equals the energy vibration in numerology of god now a lot of people have been in contact in regard to doing their soul their soul readings charts uh, that takes two hours uh, yes it's like I've opened up again and I'm now taking orders because I was inundated and I had to give you know all of the backlog all done so what you do you get that's for the special discount price you go onto my website tamara.com click on the second entry under menu which is says the intuitive intuitive soul readings I think that'll take you to that page and when you go to that page scroll right down to the bottom and you click on the updated reading because that's the discount price that I'm giving to everyone that are on the you know that are listening in those that are awake because you need to know what your soul is all about and what your soul has come here to do and I think it works out to around about $270 American something like that and you do a uh, a Skype with me and but you have to put two hours aside for it so love and blessings to you all i love you all it's like thank you so much for all of your fabulous emails your comments and everything else and i'm looking forward to journey in the month of october with you all and here's to november god bless bye